DL-178 is a vital document for any software that goes in the cockpit and possibly in the cabin of an aircraft. So it's vital to understand its principles and application for any software that's going to be airborne. The intent of this course is really to give students an idea of what 178 is, how it applies, why it's important, and what some of the pitfalls are when you misapply 178 or don't apply it at all. 178 is important to the industry quite simply because software cannot be tested and verified like anything else can. Um, structure or a wing can be bent. However, software, no matter what you do to it, um, it will operate however it's been encoded. So 178 is the only thing that gives us a framework to be able to understand what level of safety a piece of software actually has. Some of the pitfalls that we can fall into if 178 processes are not followed correctly are things like cost overruns, schedule overruns, um, things like if your team gets reassigned to a different project and a bug is reported in your software and your team is no longer formed, you have a big problem because you might not be able to reform that same team. So by not following 178 processes and not meeting 178 can have drastic effects on a pro program and a project. One might ask, why do we need to follow these rigorous processes for DO-178? And the answer is simple. Do you want the pilots in the cockpit to be faced with software that behaves like their PCs at home, where they might need to reboot, update definitions, insert a disk in order for the software to perform properly? I think not.